Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Z transform of down sampling. That is, we have the system function y of n equal to x of 2n, which is the down sampler. We want to find the Z transform of y of n. That is, we want to find y of z in terms of x of z. That is, we want to find the relation between y of z and x of z. So, to uh, solve this problem first we need to consider the following uh, relation that is we have to first understand what is this x of 2n so the first signal is x of n second one is called p of n is a pulse strain uh, with gap uh, that is the gap between each value of 1 is, is uh, 1 that is we have 0 1 that is 0 at 1 and then 2 we have 1 and then at 3 we have 0 4 we have 1 5 we have 0 6 we have 1 and so on so this is basically a pulse time with a period equal to 2 now x of n is a uh, sample signal now uh, this down sampling process can be seen as uh, multiplication of this x of n with p of n and then uh, discarding um, the zeros so that means x of n into p of n that is this multiplication will get us the samples and then from this one by discarding uh, the intermediate zeros we can get x of 2n or basically y of n so for convenience let us give a name x tilde of n to this product this x of n into p of n is x tilde of n now our y of n which is basically x of 2n will also be equal to x tilde of 2n uh, which is obviously equal to x of 2n into p of 2n so x of 2n is basically equal to x of 2n into p of 2n now we will uh, that is the meaning of this down sampling process now let us look at the z transform of y of n so y of z will be by definition the summation m is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity y of m z power minus m that is the definition now since y of m is equal to x tilde of 2m that means we can write it as summation m is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x tilde of 2m z power minus m now, it, now we will do the key manipulation here let us write 2m as equal to n so that means n is only an even integer so we have summation x tilde of n this 2m is replaced by n and then z of minus and m is replaced by n by 2 and the summation here summation is from n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity and n are all integers that means uh, even though x tilde of n has no, uh, non-zero values that is the actual down sampled values for even numbers for the odd values of n it will be zero that means recall that x tilde of n will be the values uh, it will be not equal to zero or, uh, it could be the down sampled values uh, when n is even and it is equal to zero when n is odd so in this case uh, we can just replace x tilde of 2m with x tilde of n and uh, n is basically all the values of all the integers and then instead of z power minus m we have z sorry z power minus n by 2 so that is the uh, new form of y of z now we can further analyze it now this summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x tilde of n z power n minus 2 uh, so we can replace this x tilde of n with x of n into p of n that is from the definition therefore y of z is equal to the summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x tilde of n is replaced by x of n into p of n z power minus n by 2 so that is the z transform of y of z now uh, we uh, we know the z transform of x of n and then for p of n uh, since it is a basically a uh, train of the unit unit sample uh, with period equal to 2 it can be written using the discrete uh, Fourier series that is for the discrete Fourier series that is we can write it as 1 by 2 summation k is equal to 0 to 1 e power j 2 pi n k by 2 so that is the definition of p of n in terms of discrete Fourier series so we can directly substitute this value 
in the y of z uh, that means y of z will be equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n and then 1 by 2 summation k is equal to 0 to 1 e power j 2 pi n k by 2 and then z power minus n by 2. So this is also equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n and then this summation k equal to 0 term will be basically 1 and for k is equal to 1 term it will be e power j pi k. So it will be 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 plus e power j pi k n this e power j pi n and then z power minus n by 2. So y of z will be equal to so the first term will be x of n into 1 by 2 into z power minus n by 2. So summation 1 by summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n by 2 and the second term is plus 1 by 2 summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n into and then we can combine these two terms that is e power j pi n e into z power minus n by 2. So, so it can be written as this e power j pi n into z power minus n by 2 can be written as e power minus j pi into z power 1 by 2 this 1 by 2 whole power minus n. So, for the first term it will be z transform with the variable z replaced by z power 1 by 2. It means it is like z power 1 by 2 power minus n. So, it is x of z power 1 by 2 and the second term will be z transform with the variable z replaced by z power 1 by 2 into e power minus j pi. So, e power minus j pi is basically minus 1. So, it is plus x of minus z power 1 by 2. Therefore, the z transform of the down sampler that is y of z will be 1 by 2 x of z power 1 by 2 plus x of minus z power 1 by 2. So, to summarize uh, we have looked at the z transform of the down sampler that is for y of n is equal to x of 2 n. So, um, for this purpose we first define the product x of n into p of n. x of n is a uh, possible signal x uh, given signal x of n and then p of n is a pulse strain with a period equal to 2. So, the product of x of n and p of n gives us the uh, required uh, samples and by simply ignoring the zeros we will get the final signal that is find down, down sample signal. So, we can write this new signal x tilde of n as x of n p of n. The required signal is x tilde of 2 n. So, to find the z transform we use the, the definition of z transform y of z is summation m equal to minus infinity to plus infinity y of m z power minus m. So, y of m is x tilde of 2 m and now x tilde of 2m will be replaced that is we will write 2m as n so that we have the x tilde of 2m replaced by x tilde of n and z power minus m by z power minus n by 2 and the here the advantage is x tilde of n is non-zero or it is actually the down sample values uh, that is the uh, values from the down sampling for an even values of n and the x tilde of n will be equal to 0 for odd values of n. So, indeed this summation is equal to the previous sum. So, and then x tilde of n can be x tilde of n can be replaced by its definition that is x of n into p of n and x of n is the uh, original input and p of n is a pulse strain. So, the, by using the discrete Fourier series that is the definition based on the discrete Fourier series p of n can be written as 1 by 2 summation k equal to 0 to 1 that is 2 minus 1 e power j 2 pi n k by 2 here n is 2. So, that is why we have this definition of p of n. So, by substituting this uh, definition in the z transform we get the new summation and then upon some well, algebra we can see that the z transform y of z is indeed equal to 1 by 2 x of z power 1 by 2 plus x of minus z power 1 by 2. Thanks for watching.